Kirsty TV is about the power of sharing stories that heal ourselves and heal others. My guests share their most intimate stories and lessons learned along the way. One thing's for certain in life, we are all going to be touched by death in some way. At some point, we're going to go through an experience of losing someone we know, most likely a loved one, a friend, someone in your life and it has an impact. And today we're going to talk a bit about how you manage that impact because when you don't go through it in a healthy way, it can have a long-term negative effect on you. You see, grief, when we follow the right trajectory, we'll get through it. But part of the problem is we're doing things when we're in a state of grief and there's a world and a culture around us that are giving us messages that don't allow us to process it effectively. But there's some great research out there that tells us what is the healthy pathway through grief. So if you're out there and, and you know, you're in that really dark space of having lost someone, there might be a few things in here that could be helpful. And the first one, the very first one, is to be kind to yourself, to be non-judgmental, and to throw away the rule book, because there is no rule book. There are no rules when it comes to grief. There's no time frame. There are no rules about which emotions you should feel. Because what we find is when we talk to people who are going through it, sometimes people feel relief because the burden has been lifted. But a moment later, then they feel guilty because how am I supposed to feel relief when someone's just died? That's wrong. And so there's judgment. Or maybe they're just kind of feeling numb, but thinking I should be feeling sad. Once again, guilt comes in. Judgment. I should be feeling sad. There's something wrong with me. Whenever you judge, and you don't allow yourself just to feel what you're feeling, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, you'll trap yourself in that emotion. The key here is to give yourself to per permission to feel whatever you feel without judgment. And allow yourself to be in that space as long as you need to, and to cycle back. Sometimes people feel great for a while and then find themselves hit months later, and they think, geez, I'm the kind of person that can't handle it. What's wrong with me? But that's normal too. There are no rules, remember. And finally, once you've got to that place where you've given yourself the time, you've given yourself permission, you've allowed yourself to feel your emotions, just to be with them without judgment, you'll find in there starts to become the inkling of acceptance. But you don't have to chase it, you don't have to see, you don't have to make acceptance happen. It will come naturally when you give yourself permission to go through all those different emotions. When you hit acceptance, it's then that you can start searching for meaning. Too often we hear, we hear people trying to be positive too soon. Oh, you know, let's make the most of your life. You've got everything to look forward to. You've got a great life still. It's worth living. Everything. Those, some of those advice that people give you isn't, isn't bad advice. It might just be bad timing. So at the right time, find meaning from your experience. Put it in a place. Give it some context. Maybe, you know, there's... There's a meaning, a spiritual meaning for you of, of, of that loved one that can, can last in your head. But seek that meaning. I can't tell you what it is. You're going to have to find it for yourself. But don't seek it too soon. Seek it at the right time. And eventually, only then, when you've accepted, when you've given yourself permission, when you've felt your feelings, and you've found some meaning that you can take forward, consciously choosing to take forward, then put the pressure on yourself to get back in action in your life. Up until that point, it's like, you know, give yourself a break. There's a lot of pressures, a lot you have to go through with the grief experience, and it can take a while. If you do these things, and you do them, and you, and you, you follow that trajectory, it's not going to take away the scar. It's not going to take away the person. It's not going to bring them back. But it can lead you to living a life that honors the memory of the person you lost. You know, the first three weeks, four weeks of the grief cycle, you're undone. And um, nobody knows how to cope with that. You know, there really isn't a good, solid, directional how-to book out there of what's going to happen to your physical body.